beep de beep 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 welcome just to all the stuff right okay um i don't know what the hell is wrong with a young gay man there's something wrong with them and i can't put my bloody finger on it but there's something wrong well i can i know what it is but there's something terribly wrong many of you will have watched yesterday and i know that i'm supposed to be on a break and i'm going to get it in the ear from my warrior teachers because i'm here doing this now but i can't help it because i think it needs saying um, I watched an event unfold yesterday online, well, over 24 hours or thereabouts, um, involving a young gay man who should know better. He's he's not that young. He's 30. So he's a man. As far as I'm you're a man 18 as far as I'm concerned. But, you, you know, once you're 18 and over, that's it. You take responsibility for your actions. That's the way the game works. End of story. OK. Um, and this young gay man thought it would be a good idea um, to pick on a veteran called Fred Sargent. Now, some of you will be unfamiliar with Fred Sargent. You may not have heard of him before, so it's a good idea if you go and have a look about Fred. I've got some info about Fred downstairs. And I understand also that LGB Alliance has produced a, 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 an, a, an interview with Fred with him discussing the early, early, early gay movement in the United States. Um, and that, that I will link to the LGB Alliance website so that you can go there if you wish to and, and subscribe and become a supporter and watch that video. Um, I think at this point it's worth mentioning that the United States experience of the gay movement has got nothing to do with the English experience of the gay movement. I'm sick of people saying that it is. Like, there's a new site, mental health site, called Quiff or, so, or Quim or something that's got a load of misinformation on it. I posted about it this morning. And it's doing the same stuff. But it went pride, didn't it? Pride had nothing to do with us. Nothing at all to do with us. To do with the gay movement. We were well underway long before pride. Our movement started well before that. Um, and historically, we're just not telling the truth to young people in this country. Um, so this is what happened. So we had Fred was off Twitter for a long time. And Fred was present at Stonewall, at, at, at Stonewall in the US when it kicked off. So he's got first hand experience of it. And he knew the people that were involved. So listen to Fred, for goodness sake. Don't listen to the whinging 30 year old twits in the UK think, think they know what they're talking about. Or people running various nefarious websites that lie about Malcolm Johnson and everything else that comes with it. So... It was like a Twitter birthday yesterday. Fred got back yesterday, the day before Fred, Fred got back. Fred was back on Twitter. And not only was Fred back on Twitter, I mentioned for the Scaplegata, who has also returned to Twitter and has written a very good book, which I'll put a link to the book downstairs. And I also think Wings Over Scotland came back momentarily and now they're gone again. So there's something going on with the Twitteroids and old Elon Musk must do something. Musk must do something. Musk, sort it out, right? But, so what happened was, Fred was online um, and there was a, a young man whose name is JJ Wells, who, surprise, surprise, comes from the art sector, um, i.e. he's one of the theatrical set, you know. <clears throat> now, JJ Wells has himself down as a drag queen and a performer and does various things, I don't know what. Um, and he decided or thought it would be a good idea to give his two pennies worth about Fred. And I thought it would be a good idea for me to read to you the writings of a young man whose very existence of free, of freedom that he has, his existence in freedom, which he has, is due to people like Fred. Not Fred particularly, because Fred wasn't here in the UK. If he wants to look at who people were who helped in the UK, he should go and do some homework, Mr. Wells, I think. Now, JJ is apparently called Joseph James, Joseph James Wells, um, and he's responded to something that Fred has said when Fred's talking about the history of the gay movement. And let me give you some of this young man's responses to this to begin with. That will give you some idea of where he's at. JJ says, imagine using the word veteran to describe that old crackpot. He's an embarrassment. Okay, right. Okay, well, ageism there, JJ, for a start. The old crackpot, right, who gave you your freedom. It was part of a movement that gave you your freedom. Um, I suppose that's what happens when you betray your people and become one of the folks you were allegedly rioting against. Oh, JJ's really got it wrong, hasn't he? You're a sellout, an embarrassment to the community. There's no community, JJ. There's only a constituency. I'm not part of it, and so are many gay men. Uh, you are also clearly batty, he says here. It's unbelievable. Poor Gramps needs to get back to the home before he gets himself in trouble. The absolute hate dripping from this young queer activist. He's a queer activist. He's not a gay man by any stretch of the imagination. No gay man would do this. 
No decent man would do this, gay or otherwise. And then he responds again, Oh no, it's not because you're old, which you are, almost as old as time itself, and soon will be a distant, unpleasant memory. I don't think JJ understands how quickly time passes. Once you hit 30, kid, which you've hit, game on. How long do you think it'll be? You've only got about 20 years before it all starts to go wrong, trust me. I'm there. Your disdain for people who are old is absolutely vile. You ageist, queer theory, gender identity ideology, muppet which is what you are. Again, oh no, it's not because you're old, which you are, almost as old as time itself, and soon will be a distant, unpleasant memory. He's wishing him death. It's actually, and he puts a thumbs up to that mind, it's actually because your views are fucking unhinged and you should seek professional help, Gramps. Okay. It continues, trust me, nobody is going to make you famous, you outdated old dinosaur. Your hateful views and bullshit you spread have, have seen to that. You're obsolete and you won't be around much longer, and thank that, thank God for that. Because especially you, a traitor. And he's put ACAB, which is a sign, C-U-N-T at birth. Oh, bless. Arts and crafts day at the home. Sadly, you're incorrect. I'm a very much in work drag queen. Not for long, JJ. I think you've, I think you've done yourself real harm here, sunshine. And I'm already in theatre. Again, not for long, JJ. People have found where you work. You know, your behaviour is reprehensible. And I think people won't put up with it. Um, and then JJ responds again with, imagine claiming you rioted at Stonewall and then went in, went, in, went in to become a cop. The very people rioters were up against. He understands nothing about Stonewall, if he believes that to be true. And now you hate trans people. Fucking hell, we Freddy isn't a well boy, is he? I suppose every community has its embarrassment, but this one takes the biscuit. The embarrassment here, JJ, is you, young man. With your ahistoric nonsense. Talk to an older gay man and find out the truth. You look like an idiot. Sounds like the sad rambling and jealous ramblings of an old man who hasn't seen a dick in 40 years, including his own. What degree of hate must this gay man have for himself and other gay men to think that by identifying as a queer theorist or a gender identity ideologue activist that he's able to get away with saying these things? This is a, this is a young man who is very, very unhappy. He's very unhappy. Gramps is going bonkers. He's making up the facts. To tr he's trying to change history. He just needs to relax. He hates the trans agenda because he is a prick. Maybe he'd not be an ass if he could get some dick. The trans agenda. What's that then, JJ? In between you insulting, you know, a veteran gay rights campaigner. What is it, JJ, the trans agenda that you're so into? Why are you so invested in straight men in dresses? Answer that question, JJ. Ah, oh, poor baby Freddy. Can't handle the criticism in his fragile state. I don't negotiate with class traitors. Here it comes, you see. There, the whole thing. Class, ageism, power, oppression. JJ is a full-on critical social justice lunatic. And he's a danger to the gay community. Stick to your tea and your cues, JJ. You're not wanted here. Our constituency is much better without you. He's accomplished nothing, he said of Fred. He's a fraud who believed only by racists, idiots and bigots, whose homophobia is so self-loathing they can't bear people who are comfortable with themselves. Just like Freddy, baby, but it's OK, not much longer till he shuts up for good. This is a young man who is deeply homophobic, who is deeply, deeply embarrassed by his own sexuality. Um, and then somebody put professional Judy, Fred Sargent is back. That's when Fred first got back and then he went again because JJ got his crew to report him and then... Fred's back again and JJ's blocked everyone and gone quiet. You'll see why. Uh, so Professional Judy put Fred Sargent is back. JJ put, not for long, and if Twitter don't sort it, my solicitor won't have a problem helping. Oh, JJ, a few bitten off more than you can chew. And then JK Rowling, who has had dealings with a veiled threat from JJ in the past. This was from um, a couple of years ago when, and... and um, JK chose to ignore it. I think that was a mistake with respect to JK. Well, to be fair, said JJ Wells, right? 
The woman in question wasn't actually being threatened with being burned alive. Hyperbolic metaphor based on her original tweet, but you know that you're playing dumb intentionally for clout, says JJ, and she also is a Nazi, or at least has views that align with them. This is what he's saying. That's libelous, right? Okay, that's libelous. JJ K. Rowling then, then, then uh, replies and says, JJ, if anybody close to you had your best interest at heart, they'd strongly advise you to not keep handing my lawyers ammunition. This boy is out of control. This man-child is out of control. Setting aside the burning at the stake tweet you posted about me, which you now claim was a metaphor, and which I ignored against advice. J JK set that apart. In this session, you know, these tweets, which I'll put up for you in the in the Dubras. <clears throat> what JK Rowling's saying, for goodness sake, get somebody to advise you here. You're doing something stupid. And he's absolutely doubling down on that. He has no intention of doing anything but doing so. Then we have, somebody jumps in, strange enough, from the Green Party youth wing called Finn White, who is a they-them. What a surprise. Just with the word turf. There's, there's the indicator. There's the linguistic indicator, the semantic indicator that, that J.K. Rowling is a trans-exclusionary radical feminist. That comes with the whole baggage. And Finn White, who is part of the Green Party for the moment, knows that. OK, they know this. They know this. And J.J. Wells then replies with the most arrogant, narcissistic statement. Well, 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 we meet at last. We meet at last. Who does he think he is? Richard Stanley? What is this? You know, Dr. Livingston, I presume? This second-rate actor says, well, 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 we meet at last to one of the most successful women on the planet. <laughs> what a JJ, get help. You're a narcissist. You've got a narcissist disorder, darling. Get help. To think you were once an icon to me, JK, JJ continues, I think you absolutely have views that align with Nazis. Right, OK. I think Fred also has views that align with Nazis, I think relying on tropes and stereotypes is very 1930s propaganda. Tropes. You know, this is a, he's a media kid, isn't he? He's got, he's got a degree in media studies and gender wank or something. That's what it is. He's been in the theatricals, poncing around on a stage. <laughs> I am the very model of a modern major tosser. Right? That's what he is. To which JK replies, okie dokie, JJ. We'll play it your way. Give my regards to your solicitor. And that was the last I saw of it. JJ versus JK. I don't know what the hell's wrong with young gay men, but I do. Okay, they're too used to getting their own way. And I've said it before and I'll say it again, if there was more of me, there'd be less of this. You know, if there wasn't that big black hole that Isla talks about. Isla, you know, Isla Mack, who has her YouTube channel, I'll put the links downstairs. Isla Mack and I discussed this before, which is this concept that the gay men that were devastated by the AIDS, pan the AIDS epidemic um, if they were here, this this wouldn't be happening. JJ wouldn't be out of his box. He wouldn't be being pampered to. Um, he's an ageing twink. So, you know, the only glorious thing you can take from this is that in the next few years, now he's at 30, the paunch will start, you know? The paunch will start. A little bit of the old hair going. It's all happening to me. It's all going, you know? Things will start working because that's the way it works. Fine, you can't do the two-day hangovers, hangovers anymore, JJ. You know, all the binges out on the scene. I wish there was just some way that these young men would wake up and smell the coffee, but there's no way that we're beyond that now, I think. He's a TQ nutter. He's a hands, knees and bums and lazy nutter, as far as I'm concerned. And it's a shame because he's probably talented. And if he is talented, he could use that for some good. And he's chosen to use it for bad. And I think he'll pay the price. Now, my fervent wish on this is that JK doesn't give in. Um, and I don't think she should. I think it's about time this was... We need a, an example, and he'll do, because what he said to, to Fred and what he said about Jay are vile. That's vile, horrendous things to say about people. Where's his head at? Where's his head at that he thinks that's okay? Narcissism. Entitlement. He is the very epitome of the very worst of his generation, and I know a good few of them, believe me. And he's definitely at the top of the pile. He's the worst I've come across. So I do hope that JJ goes ahead. Um, and obviously, pending any action that happens, we'll, we'll see as it unfolds, which I'm sure it will. Um, these young men who are doing this, who purport to represent the gay community, who do not. They do not. You do not represent the gay community, young man, at all. There isn't a gay community. There is only a gay constituency. You do not represent us. You do not speak for us. My respect for Fred and for JK are absolute. 
You, young man, are a disgrace.